destination which required a little bit of a hike through this beautiful forest and up to this uh, I'm not sure you can call it a clearing but it's the canopy is slightly more open here made so by these beautiful huge plane trees and in the middle of the biggest one right in the in the crest of the tree is this huge black stork's nest which I discovered on a hike a few weeks ago just before I left for the UK um, I've been away for the last few weeks so I haven't been able to post any videos and uh, at that time the birds were just sitting uh, there was no other activity they were just sitting there and I got a couple of shots I always only had my stills camera with me so I got a couple of shots of the female uh, sitting on the nest I just missed the male at that time as he left uh, probably to go hunt or bring some more uh, nesting material and uh, I thought I'd give it a few weeks uh, to see when the chicks would be big enough so that I could see them above the lip of the nest so that I can capture any feeding uh, the parents are not there and I could just see when I arrived one little head poking its uh, head up above the parapet as, as it were so I'm gonna set up the camera here unfortunately I haven't got a better vantage point than here uh, because it is just jungle completely so there is no clear path through the trees to view the nest from a higher vantage point so I'll see what I can do from here if anything uh, hopefully the parents will be back um, they'll wait for me to set up with any luck there are a ton of mosquitoes but uh, hopefully it should be worth it so let me just set up my camera and uh, so that it's ready to go and then I'll get back and talk to you some more Okay, so I've found an angle through the through the leaves and the branches and I've got a shot that, like I said, they're just ducking below the edge of the nest there's at least two if not three uh, downy chicks and they're absolutely gorgeous just yawning and waiting for mum and dad to come back with some food so hopefully I think they are big enough that when they do stand up when mum and dad come back for a feed that I will be able to get a decent shot of them from here so beautiful Okay, I'm going to hang out here, probably for quite a while uh, because their feeding grounds is all the way down the lake and I'm all the way up the mountain. So it's such a privilege to find this nest because the black stalks are very very shy, unlike the white stalks which nest in the villages themselves. These guys like to nest high up in the mountain in the tops of trees and the white stalks love the telegraph poles around the villages so these guys are much much uh, more shy and absolutely beautiful okay so I'll wait here and I shall update you as and when something happens so I shall catch up with you in a bit okay so the chicks are up out of the nest or standing up in the nest, I should say. A little bit restless. So I've managed to get a, some wide angle and close up shots of them. And having a little bit of a groom, I think, pulling some of the, the down out. 
and I'm hoping that uh, the parents will show up soon because I am being absolutely slaughtered here by the mosquitoes. It is only two that I can see. And they've just sat back down again. Oh. I think they're hungry. And they're picking at scraps from inside the nest. With any luck, the parents will be back soon with the feed, and I'll be able to get some shots of that as well and get out of here because, like I said, I'm being absolutely eaten alive. And um, the mosquitoes are biting from outside the trousers and actually getting me. So I've been shooting uh, as wide as I can go and as narrow as I can go to get some details of the down so I can cut between those. They've both got their heads down in the nest at the moment. So I'm, guess they're, I'm guessing they're um, scavenging for leftovers inside the nest. Okay, so I'm going to pull back to a wide shot and hopefully I'll be alert enough to the arrival of uh, one or both of the parents to catch them flying in. Absolutely stunning. And I'm going to see if I can get some still shots as well. Okay, so I'll be back with you in a bit, hopefully, with uh, one of the parents on the nest feeding. Okay, it's been two hours and still nothing from the parents. The chicks have been up and down and rooting about in, in the nest uh, for leftovers, I'm assuming. For me, it's just been unbearable with the mosquitoes. I've, thankfully, I had my poncho with me and the uh, scrim. So I've covered myself in this to give me a little bit of uh, respite from the, uh, from the mosquitoes, which are just incessant. And I've got just over two hours left on the battery of the cinema camera. So I shall wait until this battery dies and if the parents don't come back within that time I shall try and come back in a, a day or two. <clears throat> I've got no idea from which direction they'll fly in. I'm assuming it'll be from behind me from the direction of the lake. And I've got it set at wide angle to try and capture that. And I've just kept my eyes on the on the um, sky, hoping that they might do a flyover before actually coming in, which will give me a chance to get this recording so I can actually catch the, the parent flying into the nest. So yeah, I'll give it another couple of hours as long as the battery lasts. <coughs> and then call it quits, and then if I don't get anything, come back uh, in a day or two. I'll catch up with you in a little while, hopefully. Uh, the parents will be back before this battery dies. So amazingly, the uh, one of the parents flew in 
didn't go directly to the nest, um, flew around and then landed on a branch right above my head, one of the big branches uh, of this uh, amazing plane tree here. And I think uh, it suspected my presence, even though I'm pretty well concealed under here. Um, flew off, disappeared, and then ten minutes later flew back in. Again landed on the branch above my head, but this time I had pulled this over myself and the camera, um, and better concealed myself even more. Uh, and then I guess it felt confident enough to fly to the nest. Uh, it goes to show you that they won't give away the um, position of their nest um, because of the risk of predation. But once it felt confident enough, it flew to the nest, regurgitated everything it had. And the chicks had a really good feed. Uh, and then the uh, parent flew off. Oh, and it's just started raining. Okay, which is perfect timing, because uh, that means I can pack up with just uh, over 20 minutes of battery left. And uh, I shall be back again to uh, see their progress. Uh, but until then, um, thank you for watching. If you've lasted this long, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, I shall catch up with you again very soon in another video. So, thanks again and bye for now.